Y'all can search up Kevo on all platforms. I'll pop up right there and then. Um, you can find me on IG at Kevo underscore NLS. And yeah, tune into everything. Let's get it. We running it up at the end of it. Let's get it. Yeah. Make some noise. Make some noise. Capiche, nigga. Capiche. You heard that shot go off? Boy, I thought I got hit. I didn't know what was going on. All right, make some noise. We got to keep this going. We got to keep this going. We're going to bring our next performer up, J.U. You know what I mean? He out of here and Sonya. Come and check him out. Yeah, let's get it. Yeah. As y'all know already, I go by the name of J.U. I'm from Ansonia, Connecticut. I've been doing this for a couple years now. Let's get it. Let's give him a show. It's a bond. You know what I'm saying? Culture is it. Music. Culture is a lifestyle, it's what you live, it's what you do, it's how you talk, it's how you breathe, it's what you eat, you know what I'm saying, what you listen to. That's what it is. We all got the same mindset. We all know what's good for each other. We all know whatever is good for me is good for that, whatever is good for them is good for me. You know what I'm saying, so. So I'm from Ansonia, Connecticut. Little last town in Ansonia. Kind of like it's in New Haven County, kind of like near, near New Haven type shit, but it's, it's called the Valley. I'm really just indulged with everything. I shoot videos right now. Um, that's something that I've been into for probably the past couple of years. I'm start, trying to start taking more serious. My favorite thing to do in the world is to learn something. That gives me like a dopamine rush that shoots into my brain and I'm like, oh shit, I'm learning something. This shit feels so good. You know what I'm saying? It kind of all depends. One of like, obviously like what song I'm doing, that'll depend on the location that I do. You know, I might've seen the spot, I might've been there before. I might've always told myself like, yo, we gotta shoot a video here. Like before I started shooting videos. I've like always been the kind of person where like, yo, when I was a kid, like we used to go smoke, we used to go on L rides. We just used to go to like crazy places, places that like, you know, people, normal people wouldn't really be at type shit. So yeah, that's, that's where I got a lot of my ideas for, for uh, place to shoot videos. See, like, when you block it the light, that shit look crazy. Did you see that? Bro. Do you see that? Do you see that? They can <laughs> look, bro. Look. That shit looks fire. That's what we need. We need to get a... Uh, we need to get a dark shot like this without these lights. Because the lights is fucking it up. My lens is not making it no better. You see the glare? All right, bet. You feel me? So we got to get somewhere that's dark. I just want to watch this doc and start slaying my ideas and shit. She love you, she'll do you better with flee away. Hoodie on my body with the slick rich. Tiffany has bees, hunting different ways to get rich. Can't hang with my niggas every day because it's dangerous. Brody said, if we get our number, then he flaming it. Drop three tabs while this bitch was trying to suck me off. Me and bro, we hit the shroom plug and then we bought them all. Flaming up this gas, use the zittles like a Molotov. I ain't been asleep in days, I'm tripping off the wall. Slide peace on me. Six degrees is really just the umbrella. Like anybody that's connected to me is connected to the six. You feel me? So we fuck up the roof. Yeah, bro. I'm doing this shit so I can't walk no more. You feel me? Like, that's how I'm looking at it. I'm not looking at it as like a timetable. I'm looking at it as like, this is what I do. This is my life. So for me, I feel like that's what we was missing out the group. We was missing somebody that actually was around consistently. You know what I'm saying? That could always capture behind the scenes and shoot little run and gun music videos and stuff like that. So yeah, so I just started doing that more consistently, I want to say a couple months ago. But yeah, but then I also, I be I just be on everything. I'm just trying to learn. Yeah, I like to start off with like one specific place and then I'll kind of just brainstorm off of that. 
Because a lot of what we do is like rugged. Everything is raw. Thing is really just R A W raw. You know, even if it's not raw footage, it, it got edits over it. It's just a raw look because nothing is really fabricated. I literally am imagining myself standing on top of a tiny ass globe, big as fuck. That's literally what I'm imagining. Like, I imagine myself with everything that I think I need and everything that I want. You know what I'm saying? And not all some greedy shit on some like, yo, I wanna be able to buy my community. I wanna be able to, to set up mad shit out here. I wanna be able to buy the corner store, have the corner store run by, by all people instead of random people. You show me like, I wanna be able to go and buy the laundry mat. You know what I'm saying? I wanna be able to go set up a, 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 a studio, a local studio for the kids and stuff, probably next to the YMCA. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wanna be able to do stuff like that. But like even the shot that we did at the parking lot, like I I saw that in my head first, like the green light, him rapping into the camera mad close. Like I, I saw all of that first and I wanted to capture it, you feel me? Not like the other way around, like I captured it, then I saw it. You know what I'm saying? Elevator shot, we gotta find some place for the elevator. I definitely wanna get a car shot on some like you feel me. I'm hanging maybe out the window. And we don't gotta move because I fuck on the floor, but like, you get what I'm saying? Hang out the window and really get y'all niggas like right up in there, you feel me? I'm worried about what I gotta do on my end for them, you feel me? But it's my responsibility, you know what I'm saying? That's how I look at it at least. So the better that I perform, the better they gonna perform. Everything kind of just ties together. 88 Diamond Boys is, is what Lou started. Fall. Um, that's something. We really just like a collective. We're a collective of, of mad shit. Something we all friends. We all got the same interests. You feel me? We all got the same agendas. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. As far as like the core of us that started it, I'm really just up here with Lou. Oh my shakes, shake it up, and I'm the creator of 88 Diamond Boy. My grandfather put me on the music, like he put me on the old music, like soul music, 70s music. The way he was moving, like it would make people mad, it's braggadocious, like you feel me? We make music for our tribe, like so it's like y'all don't fuck with it, cool, like we make music for us. We smacking this shit every day. Like, this shit is going. Like, whether y'all like it or not. For one, we start in a whole new lane. And, like, in Connecticut, there's no sound. There's no sound that, like, there's a few sounds. There's a few, like, dances and stuff like that that, like, just culturally, some locals would know and stuff. But there's not no industry sound. There's not no, like, if you go to New York, you know, I don't want to, like, name anybody, but they got a certain sound for, like, people that are, are making a certain kind of music. There's not, there's not nothing like that for Connecticut, you know? There's stuff like that for like Atlanta, California, Houston, all these other cities, Michigan, all these other cities, and there's nothing for Connecticut. You wanna be a blueprint, like there's certain people you look at, take stuff from, guidelines, and it's like, you just learn from stuff. The universe, that's the most inspiration I could take from anything. If we do make a song out of that shit, it was meant to happen. Cause we're not lying about the stuff that we doing. We're not, you know what I'm saying? We're not uh, uh, making music that, that sound corny. You know what I'm saying? 
you're rapping about stuff that's really going on. It don't matter if you relate to it because somebody else is gonna relate to it. You know what I'm saying? That don't, that don't even go for just you I'm talking about like all walks of life because we don't make like street music. We don't make music that like everybody on the block gonna be sitting there selling drugs and popping our shit. We don't make music like that, you feel me? But like, they gonna respect that. Everybody gonna be able to, to realize that it's not about how you feel. This is just art. This is us being a fucking Picasso with a microphone and painting in your ears, literally. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're gonna be able to see the vision. Hey, Diamond Boys, it's a, it's a bunch of collectives that uh, like I, I gathered from my friend group for me, all of my brothers, my tribe, and uh, it's a, it's a branch off of six degrees, only one six degrees, and uh, in Turtle Club, because everybody had their own shit, and you can't really include everybody in everybody's shit, so I, I wanted to make some shit where everybody was like one. I keep it too play, no bitches, my hand turn the trap to a pharmacy, see the Jason, I'm stopping I set the vibe when I record, so. The light is probably off. I probably got a candle on. I mean, I'd be like stuck. But it, it has to be like an environment I could create. And if it's too much light, like, you can't really just I like to create out of nothing. But it's like, so. If I go broke, it's the end of the world. I don't need much. I got the laptop, the headphones, and the interface. That's all you really need. The music is like very minimal. Like, everything is lifestyle for real. When you try to create, you just go to a lot of shit you just don't know. So you're just trying to do a whole bunch of different shit that might not hit, but it might go. This shit cool, bro. Like, it's really cool. Like, like we really figured it out. So it's like the understanding that, like, in college, I was taking, I switched my, um, that's why I started taking shrooms, because in college, I switched my major from psychology to music. And then I really started taking music shit serious, but I wasn't rapping, I was taking poetry. Like, you feel me? So I was, I was taking classes in poetry and you know, exaggerated writing. You feel me? I was writing stories and shit. Like, it was mad creative shit going on in my life at this time. And I was taking music theory. Like, I was taking singing classes and shit. Like, you feel me? I was really trying to learn this shit. And then I figured out, after I took the shrooms, these niggas couldn't teach me shit. That's all it is. It's a guideline. Once you figure out the guidelines and the morals of your life, you're not going to cross that line. So it's like... All right, I got something to live by. I have a purpose. I want to live a certain way. I want to eat a certain way. I want to do shit with my friends a certain way. Like, you feel me? I want to grow shit. Like, you feel me? I want to... For me, there's a lot of shit you want to do that you should do at a high level. Everything you should do has quality and value. For me, because you have to respect it. This is life. That That is life. I'm not expecting nobody to do nothing for me for any reason of why shit won't go right for me because I got to do that for myself and they should know that already for me and they know that like for me so we eat bro we hustlers bro like so it's like past this music shit bro we get money so it's like nobody's slacking and if you slacking we on your ass bro because we know what you're worth bro we know the standard bro like you're, you're worth so much we got to live up to that I needed them, you feel me? I still need these niggas, bro. Like, that's why we doing this shit. It's a, it's, that's the, that's the thrill of this shit. You feel me? Cause I did it by myself. I, I make this shit by myself at some point. Like at some point, bro, I was just recording by myself all the time and this shit just wasn't fun. Then I started linking with Bang and Jew and, and Coop. And then it's like, okay, we could do something. Like, you feel me? They rapping, I'm rapping. Like this shit was, it wouldn't be fun. You can do it by yourself. It's just not going to be fun. You feel me? Like, at all. This, this is this is Connecticut. Like, you feel me? Like, I say changes because this is just how Connecticut is, bro. Like, I walk outside, bro. This is how I look in New Haven. This is how I look anywhere else in Britain. The relationships I have with my brothers, it's like the experiences, bro. It's different experiences with everybody.
hard designer, but I'm golly with the fashion. My life is still yeah, I'm JU, representing the Six Degrees as a rapper. Cool, I met him in school. Uh, Lou, I met him in school as well, but we wasn't together yet. We met one on one. All, like, I met all of them one on one. When I started going to school, that's where I seen him from. He was in love with the music, and he actually brought Lou back around. So, um, it, so that's when me and Lou started connecting for real. Them off the porch interviews. Heck yeah. You know what I'm talking about? No, yeah, fact, yeah, 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 I know that. Yeah. Literally, I saw a J. Cole uh, documentary, and that's exactly like, oh, yeah. when, like that. one of their interviews. Right, right, right. He's sitting on like the front step. Being around ra uh, other rappers for real, being around people that perform, like they'll rap, I like ciphers and stuff. That's what made me want to rap. The way that I like oh, I impacted the valley is like, yeah, I'm not trying to say what people copy me, but want to do things like want to do certain things with they self now. You know what I'm saying? Because it's always about sports in the valley. So anybody wanting to do anything other than sports, I think I shaped them to do something else and be. You know what I'm saying? And I was on that. I was I was going. I was one of the kids and, and saw you going. I done cried mad times, bro. Like. More than I should have as like a grown man with a daughter, like to these niggas music. That shit is crazy. Driving on the way to the crib, this nigga Jew talking about fucking talking about going through with fucking females and shit. And I'm you feel me? I'm like, damn, yo, this nigga's right. Like, you feel me? Like that shit is crazy, bro. Like Jew really focused on the music shit. Like, you feel me? Jew locked in, bro. Like, he's he's like a... He's not, a, he's not like a perfectionist, bro, but he like makes masterpieces, bro. Like for me, he's, he knows how to put together a body of work, bro. Like it needs to be appreciated. Like, cause for me, I feel like everybody can make music and everybody can make songs. But when somebody is consistently putting out like five to like nine songs or like fucking 12 songs, 14, like just putting out bodies of work, bro, like projects and albums, mixtapes, whatever fuck you want to call them, bro. But when they're consistently doing that, it, it needs to be commended. When you rapping, when you making music, it got to mean something, it got a purpose behind it. So when I started to uh, get into that, it was like, yo, I could, I could be teaching the youth on how to, you know, be themselves. I have knowledge of self, whether no matter what, you know, fool you are, what you do. If I'm rapping a certain way and I'm rapping straight um, jewels, somebody's gonna learn something, pick up, and they probably be in a better path. And you don't quit, you just, you keep going, your mind is still on what you wanna do. Red Pasta is just, it's like really unexplainable. It's just really God for real. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's really in the cosmos with it on how these things, how I make these songs. I used to, I made so much music that it's like second nature. So it's like, I don't even really get it motivated to do it. I just be doing it at this point. I'm gonna build a land for these creative people to win. Then they gonna learn that shit. They gonna do Lord, and then they gonna teach me. You feel me? Cause we all gotta, we all gotta do something. I just, we just. I guess my goal is to be heard by everyone, and that's it. Cause once you tap into who you are, it's like you could do whatever. Now we gotta figure out how to keep on going, you feel me? It don't matter if it take us 20 years, you feel me? Cause throughout that 20 years, all we doing is moving up, you feel me? We went, we went from recording in each other's houses on fucking, on a washing machine, literally no, a couch, empty room and a washing machine, you feel me, with studio equipment. Went from that to fucking another state doing music. That sounds like elevation to me, you know what I'm saying? Our impactful moments is just us in the studio in the music we make.
if you really sit there and listen to our shit, bro, it's like shit is like very calculated. Bro, you think the Lakers got a squad with them? It's literally like when I'm dead, I'm probably either fucking eating or fucking sitting there on my phone, chilling. I'm just listening, giving suggestions. I'll be falling asleep and shit. It takes time for us to even make the vision how we really want it the way we want like you know what i'm saying so it's gonna take some time but just it's not a lot of songs with the six all together for real so but i probably for moments it's like we're in the studio together we're making something like when i would sit there with you and he would like teach me how to mix this shit but like for me Shit, I didn't know what the fuck he was doing, even though he was still trying to teach me, because I, I didn't really want to learn, like, you feel me? It's like, I'm learning, but I didn't really want to learn until I got by myself and started trying to learn, like, and that's when shit got hard, like, you feel me? But once you figure out, like, what's, what's your thing, it don't take much else other than building off of it. <laughs> we got the studio set up. We don't know what beat we doing. We don't know what we talking about. We just look for the beat and we put it into the session and create. And then, and it wound up being something crazy. I got an adapter in my car if you need to plug it into the interface. <coughs> the adapter that goes in the fucking, um, in the speaker side. So it has some on the back of it? Yeah, it likes it. Take a beat, we vibe with it, and we get right to it. And a beat. Oh. Why? I knew you was word, gonna say that word. shit. Word. Why? Why? You gonna play it? Yeah. I should just come natural for real. And that's what it is in the studio. It's like really naturally creative, authentic vibe. Huh? Let's make some come together it's like yo this is what we're gonna we're gonna put we're putting a six on with this beats, for real beats top beats three all this space for, there's just so much shit on here hey, you know the best producers engineers but we we in the studio there's always some magic going on computer, the FL, same stickers fl12 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it don't be busting though when we in the studio and we trying to create something on the same beat, it's like a crazy, like a beautiful, like storm. That's that you know what I'm saying. It's, it's a mixture of uh, a lot, a, a lot of different powerful energy for us. So it's like it's real powerful when we get in the studio. my music that's out right now I think it's what I'm talking about that makes it uh this certain type of art like golden era hip-hop to where it was like it's so so much substance in it and it's so much well-rounded that it's like ooh, you know what I'm saying it's it's not it's not what's out right now you know it's not fast food for me it's it's something nice you know what I'm saying it's something hot and ready you feel me like you take time, it's process. Like it, it, this all comes from a culture that, that that just brought the realness, and that's how hip hop started with the realness. You know what I'm saying? It's, and it's two sides of hip hop. It's the realness and it's the fakeness. You know what I'm saying? So we just we just represent the real. Nah. 
I never thought they would be, we, we never thought we were going to be as close like that, for real. You know what I'm saying? Never, never, never. I've seen Lou all my life in Connecticut. You know what I'm saying? So, I've seen Coop all my life in Connecticut. I've seen Rudy all my life in Connecticut before he moved. I never thought they would be that, we, I never thought we'd be close to where we is right now. So, there is a force doing that because it feels forced from a whole different thing, another thing. Because I never asked for it, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't think any of us, and I think it's a coop, you know what I'm saying? Coop is, is that energy that, you know what I'm saying, we really got to protect. And, we'll, and I really do this for coop, like, because he put his belief in me first. I, nobody ever believed in me like coop, you know what I'm saying? Nobody. I swear, like, people say I will make it, but Coop put it in play. Like, Coop, like, nah, you got to be on Apple Music. He put me on Apple Music first before I, <clears throat> anyone else. He put me on Apple Music, and um, and he he put me in a world where it's music business and marketing and it's this and that, and that's what Coop, and that's what Coop, that's the knowledge he brought to Six Degrees. All that stuff, social media looking in a certain way, all that knowledge. The being with my friends, like, cause when it started, we was all together, essentially. Like, you feel me, it was three of us together. You feel me, Stockton was still in Atlanta. But it was me, Jew, and Coop. You feel me, we was together enough to keep building. Like, you feel me? And I would always keep us in touch with Stockton cause that's my bro, like, you feel me? So. <laughs> Not everybody can be the quarterback. Somebody got to block. Somebody got to catch. Somebody got to run the ball. Somebody got to be the coach. You know what I'm saying? Somebody's got to be on the other team. Laws of polarity. You feel me? Like, it's always an opposite. It's always somebody's either going to like it or somebody's not. You get what I'm saying? And you got to differentiate, like, who is on which team. You get what I'm saying? Then you got to differentiate, like, who is the quarterback? Who is catching the ball? Go hard for it, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't, don't kill yourself for it, but go hard for it and have fun with it. Because when you think about it, it's not really other than, like, when you, it ain't really, like, much to do, but do what you, like, you feel me, want to do in life, you feel me? So it's like, what I'm going to do to get where I want to be and to, to get this, these people listening and, I'm gonna just be consistent and go hard for it. We really like figured out this music shit, bro. Like, Jew, like, we really figured out this music shit. Bro. Yeah. Hey. I got a spiritual connection with this world. I gotta take a seat. I was supposed to be guilty for some shit, but I was innocent. She could love me today, hate me tomorrow because she ain't feeling it.
there's struggles and everything. Everything is a struggle. It takes energy to do everything. But life is about perspective. Life is about how you look at it. If you wake up and you like, man, it's raining out. It's about to be a shitty ass day. It's about to be a shitty ass day because you woke up and I'm going to tell you, you manifested that shit. You manifested yourself to have a shitty ass day. You told yourself it was going to be shitty. You went outside, you was walking by a puddle and a big ass truck splashed water on you. You manifested that shit. If you woke up and was happy and left the crib 30 seconds earlier, that shit wouldn't have happened. You know what I'm saying? If this is the goal up here, I feel like we're down here, but we started over here and we moved forward on the same pl uh, on the same plane. So we got closer, but we didn't go up. You know what I'm saying? So even though we got closer, you can't get close over here. You're not going to reach your goal. You're just going to keep on moving. We moved forward a little bit. Now it's time for us to start going up and get into that, get into that door. Nobody owes you nothing. So you got to go figure it out. Just be able to create, because that's what you're here to do. I mean. I'm praying God give me a chance until then I'll be running the world. Yeah. Yeah. I see money and move like I am in a rush. Was trapping with bro until dust. I maneuver through life, I'm like, fuck it. Got a bad bitch, but she come with some luggage. I'm off of the psyche, my mind keep on running. It's right. I changed her life, cause that's what she wanted.